Okay, hey, thanks for tuning in again. Listen, I, I recently I did a video on Alien Covenant and Prometheus and an idea that I had with respect to the engineers in that in that uh, movie series. And I wanted to revisit that really, really quickly. And when I, you know, I'm going to probably be pointing to other clips during this video. And when I do, I can never remember which direction to point. So if I point you to the wrong place, you know, those, those cards appear on YouTube and, and you can click on other video clips, etc. If I point to the wrong side of the screen, sorry, you know, I'm doing my best. Now, if you watched Prometheus, which was the second installment of the Alien series that was done by Ridley Scott, the one who directed the original 1979 Alien, if you watched Prometheus, you saw at the beginning what looked like an indication that life on planet Earth was seeded or placed there by a race of super beings called the Engineers. Now, to some of you, that may seem like a new idea, and, and many of you may think that maybe, you know, R Ridley Scott or whoever wrote the script for Prometheus, maybe they were the ones that first thought of that idea. Well, that's not exactly the case. In fact, the idea that life on Earth was seeded by intelligent beings was thought of, you know, decades ago, uh, maybe as, as early, and perhaps earlier, but the first real instance I saw of this was uh, the con concept of directed panspermia. Now, the idea behind directed panspermia is actually, it's an interesting story. Watson and Crick, the two people who discovered DNA, its helix structure, and the four nucleotides that comprise basically all the coding in the human body for, you know, your eye color, hair color, protein production, etc., etc., etc. Watson, later on, after they had finished that research on DNA and nucleotides, Watson took a look at it, and to him, it really, really looked like computer code. It looked like the human body was basically coded not in a binary form, but in a quaternary form with four nucleotides. That, that this was basically as if somebody up there had written a, a massive computer code that basically, um, you know, served as the software behind the way in which our bodies functioned. And so it got him scratching his head. There were some other things too. I'm basically fo focusing on DNA, but there were other things. But basically, it got Watson scratching his head, and he started to think, and actually wrote a paper that, you know, kind of forwarded the idea that life on Earth had been placed here by advanced intelligence. Now, that doesn't mean it's God, but, you know, I think that Watson actually uh, literally stated to, to the effect, and I'm paraphrasing here, but to the effect that, you know, life on Earth could have been placed here by alien races or an alien race. So my point in all this is that actually there is some science behind this idea that, you know, the, the, an engineer, a race like the engineers could have come to planet Earth a long time ago and seeded life and, and started the human race as we know it today. And there's other evidence too in the geologic record. There's something called the Cambrian Explosion. Now evolutionary biologists will insist that the Cambrian Explosion is nothing. It doesn't discount the, the theory of evolution, which basically states that life on Earth started as a primordial ooze with some electricity and some other things that basically kick-started the formation of amino acids and nucleotides that then self somehow self-assembled into the earliest life form known. Evolutionary biologists really argue that point, but when you look at this thing called the Cambrian explosion, basically what happens is during the Cambrian period in the geologic record, all of a sudden there was an explosion of different life forms, which creates a problem for evolutionary biologists because they want to be able to trace everything back to a single point, right? And the whole concept behind evolution is that it works slowly. You shouldn't get anything called an explosion. And they'll tell you, oh, the geologic record isn't complete. Actually, it is very complete. There are formations in China where we've actually, the, the, the chemistry of the rock is such that early sponge embryos were preserved, soft tissue embryos were preserved. So we have a fairly complete record of the Cambrian era and what led to this explosion, and it is an explosion. It's something that flies in the face of evolutionary logic. Now, when I first heard of these concepts, it kind of gave me goosebumps because it flies in the, it flies in the face of evolution, number one. And number two, it really does tend to support what we're seeing on the screen when it comes to Prometheus and the engineers coming to Earth and seeding it with human life. And it really makes you wonder, are we being watched by some higher power, some higher authority? And who put us here in the first place? Evolution? Well, evolution doesn't seem to answer the question in entirely. Now, it may in the future come up with the answers, but right now, it's having a tough time. Let me know what you think of these ideas. And as I said in my earlier video, I can't wait for the premiere. Actually, it's not the premiere. Whatever. You know what I mean. May 19th, when, when it's finally released, when Alien Coven is released. I can't wait to see the, the crew of the Covenant. I can't wait to see Walter and David again. And I definitely, especially want to want to see uh, Tennessee, the guy. I can't remember his, the, guy, the name of the actor who plays Tennessee, but he's, he's fantastic. Great comedian. Anyway, thanks for watching and transmission.
Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Look, now that YouTube is censoring everybody, we all need to work together. So please, click the thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, and do one small thing for me. Share this on social media. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, I don't care which. Everything, every social media thing you're subscribed to, however little you're willing to do, however much. Also consider buying my books. I'm an award-winning author, and you get what you pay for. You'll at least have some enjoyment out of them. I'm not asking for charity. Take a look at my books. All the links are below. Thanks for watching. So